Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello, and welcome back. So, Cindy showed me this today, and this is Harump, Nevada. And well, actually, it's probably in between Perump and Amargosa. It's on 160. Yeah, it's between Perump and, and Beatty or Perump and Amargosa. It's it's that one route that you take to get from Beatty to the other bigger town to get groceries. Yes. And so this is a, this is something I never experienced living mm -hmm. in that area. And it does happen every now and then, but it, it's it's wild to see the desert overflowing with water. Look at that roaring stream, river. Well, the desert ground is different in the sense that it doesn't absorb very well. So when you get the showers, that, this is a flash flood. This is what can happen. People get swept away. They don't take them seriously. It really should. People were turned away. And who knows if that road's open. I can't get a moment to anybody right now to find out. But look, at it just, it just sort of takes over the desert. And that's miles compared to what we have seen. Down for days. I don't know if anybody's familiar with Scotty's castle, but it totally almost got completely wiped away. Yeah, pretty pretty wild stuff um, to see. And, and we lived, we've spent some time in quite a few western states, mm -hmm. and Nevada seems to be about the driest. To yeah, me. It, yeah. It, it it seems to be about the driest and. Um, the most just rocks without that much, you know, anything besides sage. Mm -hmm. There's there's sage there. Like you get into Arizona and you see some beautiful cactus and things like that. And and where we were in New Mexico, you know, there's there's trees. There's some great woods, beautiful forests. Uh, but I've I had never saw anything like that there. So one of our family members uh, sent a message saying, got my chocolate macadamia nuts and oh man, they're good. So this is med medicinal foods. And I just wanted to, to thank everybody that has been trying medicinal foods and have not heard of one person even remotely uh, unsatisfied. Everybody seems to love it. Lots of good stuff. I just wanted to mention that and it does support the channel when you do order over there from the link which we have on every video now that we're putting up so big statement here we have putin warning that its navy the russian navy can fire an unpreventable first strike if needed big statement you know that comes after we had the british warship incident going on off of crimea and all the black sea and all the military exercises and you know we have the uk sending uh, ships permanently to the South China Sea. We have what I've noticed is a lot of covert maneuvering of U.S. ships where what we're being told does not match with what's actually probably going on mm -hmm. as far as movements. So this was at the uh, St. Petersburg uh, Navy Parade on Sunday. Big statement, this country's Navy can launch an unpreventable strike if need be. And of course, they've talked about those hypersonic weapons that we have been talking about. And so we have a massive dust storm that hit Utah and a series of deadly crashes that followed thereafter. At least eight people lost their lives, several others critically injured. And this was near Kenosha in, in uh, Utah, Interstate 15 absolute mess there's videos here scary stuff i mean we've had so many close calls crossing the desert out there mm -hmm. and you know sometimes in the desert too like it, you're going along and it's just all the exact same thing it could almost put somebody into a trance and then all of a sudden you get a dust storm that kicks up like that there were some signs i'd say to cindy i don't understand why that signs here low visibility uh, area because every time we go through it there'd be nothing happening but then one time <laughs> we did hit a windstorm and we understood yeah we understood real quick yeah exactly what they were talking about and if it is possible i guess anything's possible it, it just feels like all the earth changes uh with their hmm, uh what, how should we say augmentation artificial flavoring seems to have just gone to a totally, totally different level yet again. And we have Typhoon Infa made landfall. 
1.5 million people had to evacuate. And we were talking about 300,000 evacuations, 330,000. Yeah, 1.5 million. Ground is super saturated. Um, you know, there are stories of, of, of entire, like, families being lost. And, you know. Generations, even. Generations, communities. Yeah. Little towns, uh, just just gone, little villages, we should even say. It's uh, very sad, very crazy, not super strong. Again, you know, like 60 mile an hour sustained with wind gusts up to 80, but it, it, it's the water. It is the water. You could see a buildup, you know, that we are in the times of Noah yet again. Mm -hmm. And here you see search for China flood survivors turns desperate. And this Washington Post article is the one that really talks about different experiences of people that are looking for grandkids, looking for whole families even. It's so sad. Let's send our prayers over there. Again, it's, it's the average people of the world that these things are hitting. And... Yeah, you know, on both. Well, I should say on all sides. All the, you know, it's almost every country that's getting every, you know, annihilated by all these different things. Whether we're talking wildfires or floods, we've seen now gorilla hail. You know, hail the size. What, what's next? Hail the size of a basketball coming right. down. Part of offshore construction rig sinks into the ocean. This is in China. Four people missing here. Yeah, there were 65 people on board this platform, four of which are missing search and rescue. Now, they say the incident could be a sudden penetration of one of the rig's legs into the seabed. Do they mean the seabed gave way? Is this part of the earth changes? Or is this something else? I don't know. It's something that's really concerning, though. I don't like the feel of it. I don't like the tit-for-tat feel of things, yeah. you know? Uh, because, again, it's going to be the average people that, that get the reprisal. As we've talked about that artificial flavoring involved, thousands evacuated in flood hit Philippines as well. And, again, this is talking about Typhoon Infa and what it did over in that country. And, again, you know, it, it's a sad situation. You have people being rescued all over. You have crop losses. You have loss of homes. Think about the number of people that are homeless or have been made homeless. If we go back to August 2017 with that eclipse, it just feels like everything changed at that point. Yeah, I, I remember just like standing out there in the yard, looking up, staring and getting this weird feel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Did it is. Did you feel that too? It, w it was really crazy. My whole body had shivers for probably two or three days and it's, Almost like a thousand different entities went through me at once. It, it was so, so weird. In Himachal Pradesh, this is in India, uh, we have nine lost, three injured. In a massive landslide, there's video here for you guys to check out. And this is the Twitter feed. It's just incredible because the people are in their house on the other side of this river, on the other side of the bridge. The bridge gets wiped out. It, it gets annihilated. This house gets annihilated. And these boulders, you can see them coming down, and then they bounce, and some of them actually come and boom. They're landing on the other side. And you're, I mean, I was thinking the whole time, don't think you're far enough away as you're watching from your house on the other side of the, of the river because you might not be far enough away. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that, that's what has happened. And then the wildfires over in Sardinia, uh, some beautiful villages, I mean, gorgeous places historical, uh, completely burnt down. It's really sad. Wildfire fires raging through Sardinia, forcing evacuation. This is such a historic area. And officials are calling it an unprecedented disaster. Comes after wildfires at location, including Naples and Mount Vesuvius. Wow. Ooh, that sounds so ominous. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That is so ominous. Look at that in the background. Imagine, you know, having to flee. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there we see them there. We have massive forest fires in Catalonia and Andalusia. Gorgeous area again, Spain. Again, such history, such beauty. 
and massive, massive wildfires. Just devastating the region again. And, you know, the EU is actually sending in help to Sardinia. I wonder if the UN will be in there. Blue helmets and all. Who knows? Mm. Thousands evacuated as U.S. wildfires burn across California and Nevada. And last trip we went back home to Nevada to visit family, it looked really ominous. You know, the skies were basically the color that we're seeing here. And uh, it felt super ominous. Where are you going to go? You're going to have issues everywhere you look. You know, face the fire or face the flood. It is your choice, right? It's going to always be something. And then, uh, of course, the food situation, the hyperinflation, of course, the political climate, depending on what states we're in. And in Washington, D.C., the moon turned a bright orange color due to the smoke from the fires all the way on the other coast. And we were talking to a family mem member, A. Rich, uh, up in Montana. And uh, yeah, most definitely. Smoke is just a way of life now. Widespread damaging, locally destructive winds, including potentially multiple small and fast-moving tornadoes, hit South Australia. Every continent we look, you know, we're finding just everything is ramping up higher and higher and higher. The extremes are getting more. So here you had gusts of up to 56 to 62 miles an hour in some areas. And, uh, you know, Australia has been hit with a lot of things, and there's a lot of frustration over there. We're seeing from family members in a lot of areas, um, Australia especially is one of those places where it feels like people are getting pushed towards the brink, uh, towards the snapping point. It really is sad. I mean, it's so sad the way things are going there and our hearts with you guys. Yeah, we have so many family members we that we do. love over there in, mm -hmm. in Australia and New Zealand. <laughs> and here you see increased volcanic unrest at White Island. Uh, the alert level was raised to two. This is in New Zealand. And this is the area where we had people surprised by an eruption. And unfortunately, they lost their lives. It was really scary just a few years back. So that's one to most definitely keep an eye on. The sky has fallen. Chinese farmers reel after the floodwaters devastate pig herds. Well, half of their pigs were basically lost during the whole plague upon the land and swine flu. And now the floods are going to take out you know, more of what's left. Well, don't forget too, Smithfields, we were talking about it. Smith Foods is a icon uh, over in well, the Carolinas and Virginia, and they started to basically ship the whole carcass directly to China because China bought Smithfields out. Yeah. You know, the largest meat producer, pork producer uh, in the U.S. And, you know, of course, you know, China's got 1.6 billion people to feed Interesting things we see in this world, guys. And Chinese farmers expressing despair after their whole herds have drowned now. Multi-levels to this. There's so many different levels to what's going on. And the fireballs, meteors, ships, whatever they are. So very, very bright fireball over southern Norway. The hunt for meteorites is underway. There's been quite a few in the last few days. Now, look at this. This is kind of rainbowish. Isn't, Isn't it? it pretty? That just feels like um, like a Merkaba, you know, going from one dimension to another. Very well. Could be. Uh, so this one talks about the Norway, but also in Texas, a loud bang so powerful it shook some houses. Actually, people saw this one. And look at, again, the colors. Beautiful. Um, all the way over into Louisiana. So we're talking... A long area that they saw this one it was so bright it changed night into day explosion so powerful it even shook some houses and, you know this we're talking about the Dallas Fort Worth area all the way over into like the Shreveport area and so there's videos there that show it as you can see it look at that interesting how those two kind of have that rainbowish hue to them mm -hmm. 
and meteor fireball over the south of Spain as well. And then we have 14 different cameras recording one over Brazil as well. Isn't it curious that this whole batch kind of had that same look? Is this something to do with atmospheric conditions? That would be the logical scientific <laughs> you know, thing to say, oh, well, it's due to certain astrological. You know, Those scientists always have something really, conditions. really fun and quick and witty to put a label on stuff, don't they? Yeah. 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 It's it's called spin. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> 59 million Americans prohibited from buying high-end Dell gaming PCs. Why? Because there, it's due to power consumption regulations. So California, Colorado, Hawaii, Oregon, Vermont, Washington, they will refund you for the uh, amount on any orders placed because those orders are going to be canceled because you're not allowed to have them. Wow. Because your legislators know more, know better than you do. And they do. So they just figure you don't need them. So mm -hmm. we're going to start deciding what you need now. Yes, yes. They're only worried about your health. Because, oh, of course. It's because they love you. Yes, it's power consumption. Mm -hmm. They're worried you're going to get fat from power consumption. Yes, they are. They're just looking out for your welfare. At least that's what they want you to think. Yes, interesting, interesting, interesting. So I just wanted to, to show this website, which is up. This is the Disaster Survival Network. And so it has a lot of different information, as you can see here. Uh, everything from the plague upon the land to emergency alerts, breaking news, on and on, cybersecurity, Fukushima, even you know things relating to that big E word, mm -hmm. or maybe it should start with a S in front of it. Uh -oh. Uh oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Um, this is one of our our dear brothers, Thor, and Thor has been with the channel since pretty much the beginning, and uh, we actually met in person and back when I was in North Carolina and you see over here on good vibes where's that going ah that's going to evolutionary energy arts website thank you Thor and uh, Thor is also a, a first responder and so he has been there with like Hurricane Michael and and you name you name the disaster you're gonna find him somewhere there trying to rescue people or trying to get power restored, doing what he could do. He's a good guy. Very good and guy. So I want to thank him and please everybody send him out uh, good positive vibrations as uh, he's a good man and he's, 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 he's got some personal things going on that we uh, want to send him love, light, good health, well-being, and uh, just thank him for his service to humanity as well. Yes, please, and thank you, Thor. Thank you, Thor. Thank you, brother. We appreciate you. So, guys, as always, make sure that you have su subscribed to the channel. Yes. So might as well stay subscribed to both. We <laughs> hope that Evolutionary will still be around as it seems to be in the crosshairs. Um, and do share, share, share. Let's, you know, take the opportunity to wake as many people up to what's going on in this world while we still are able to actually speak. And, uh, and I don't even say that in jest. You know, I wish I, I wish I could say that in jest, mm -hmm. but that's not something we could adjust, you know, just about anymore. No, it's not. I mean, they prove themselves over and over where it, it's just so sad and we really appreciate your guys' support. Everyone, we did have a, a new uh, Patreon. Gosh, I'm so sorry. I will get your name next time. I forgot it off the top of my head. It was something really kind of cool. Yeah. So um, we'll definitely give you a shout out next time. And thank you, everybody, for and, all your support. And if you need to make an appointment with us, it's evolutionaryenergyarts at gmail.com or eearts at protonmail.com. Again, that would be for anything from energy healing to instruction. And also as far as astrological charts or just spiritual coaching. As always, God bless and namaste. Namaste.